G'day folks. Well, you've begged and nagged for part two of the uh, old to old parts chest autopsy and exploration. Well, here it is. <laughs> oh, I should have done it yesterday, but I had other things to do like implode things. I was sidetracked by a vacuum pump. Okay. Midsection, I believe, is more bolts than anything else. There's a PBR brake piston cup or something one and three sixteenth inches it's part number nine six eight too old to put into a brake system now it's probably quite getting quite hard and perished uh, divider type caliper thing I uh, can't exactly remember what that's called still restorable though coach bolts very small lawnmower blade more bolts and studs half inch brass nut you see some of this imperial stuff's worth keeping because it's getting hard to find another sharpening stone brass bolt and nut small slotted machine screws washers good washers a bolt from a lathe tool post or something a little bits like that I keep cap screw 516 Whitworth cap screw Generally, everything I've found in this is imperial. I'm like, that's useless. I don't know why someone would keep that. But you never know, I suppose I have useless bits of crap in my metal bolts and things collection. More bolts. Yeah. And Braco T bolt for a milling machine table, drill press table. There's another one. Another one. Very handy, actually. I've got a slotted drill press table, so I need them. That's probably the other half of the cap screw. <laughs> um, yeah, another Whitworth cap screw. Uh, blade bolt or something, maybe. I don't know. Sleeve with a nut. Split pins, they're always handy. Keep them. Castellated nuts for the split pins. Yep. More shoulder bolts, wing, wing nut, <laughs> and castellated nut, probably UNF, very fine threads. UNF standing for Unified National Fine, BSF is British Standard Fine, British Standard Whitworth is sort of like that, I'm guessing that's either British Standard Whitworth, like the coarse thread, or Unified National Coarse, UNC. There are a lot of different thread types out there besides metric. And some of the people I've met and worked with, or worked with, have a hard time wrapping their head around them sometimes. And it does get a bit confusing, especially when you're dealing with old-fashioned equipment. If it's POMI, it generally has British, British standard threads on it. Um, some of them are British standard Whitworth, British, um, British standard Fine, Unified National sometimes. They might get a little bit of the American threads, which are Unified National. Um, yeah, I could go on and on about thread types. More lawnmower blades. A pile of them. That's definitely a blade bolt. Victor, part number 9-203. So that's a Victor blade bolt. It doesn't even fit that one. Where was... Yeah. Doesn't fit that type, probably a bigger one. Wheel studs, a few of those. Yeah, wheel nut by the think so. No, it's not a wheel nut. Various a pin with a thread on the end. Three quarter inch or something. No, no, that's even finer. <laughs> that's all nasty curtain hangers of all things. Badly rusted split pins, cotter pins. All useless. Lawnmower blade bolt and nut assembly, probably for one of these. Sort of stuck. Old school brass hose fitting. Spring washers half inch spring washers by the looks of it or not 
No, not even half inch. Three eighth inch spring washers. More blade bolts. More nuts. More brass torsion spring. Coil spring. Blade bolts and washers. Lawnmower stuff. Someone's been welding onto those um, wheel studs. They're no use. That's a wheel nut. Oh, holding wheel nut. Maybe not. Dunno. Okay, so that's the mid level. Mostly crap. Lower levels. Ooh, that was interesting. PBR, hydraulic brake parts. These are brake system components. Rubber brake components, I'm not quite sure what those are. They might be master cylinder seals or something. Master cylinder rod boot or something like that. And they're all rotted and mouldy. Nothing in it. Most of them still have rubber grommets in them. Part number P22. Yeah. I'm guessing those are hydraulic seal cups for the ends of your master cylinder rod or maybe even slave cylinders in some cases. One in there somewhere. Yuck. This stuff has more collector's value than anything else. I wouldn't use those to repair brake systems. They'd be old and perished. Yeah, see so there's some pistons. Very small ones, but they're pistons. Braking components is part numbers here P5174. There's a few, a few P1574s there. Uh, P368s, there's two of those. There's P22. Um, P666, number of the beast. Gotta love that. Evil brake seal kit. <laughs> brake seal kit for the devil's car. Or Adolf Hitler's Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, I went there. To be honest, I actually love to have his Mercedes Benz. It's one gorgeous looking car. Mercedes Benz SSKs as well. There's so many World War II vintage Mercedes that just look so beautiful. Why don't they make cars like that anymore? Yeah, the bottom of the chest has been crushed. It was dropped on a hard surface and bent up a bit so I'm going to try and persuade that to come out. There we go. I see a box of woodruff, woodruff keys. Little, yeah, shaft keys. That one's been chomped. Yeah, oh, those are new. Uh, harmonic balancer keys, that sort of thing. Holding, holding harmonic balancers by the looks of it. No idea what that's for. Nuts and bolts, big T bolt or some kind of drill press or something. Big ass nut. Maybe a harmonic balance of nut or a um, stub axle. Oh, then again, they're normally castellated. Very bent coach bolt. I don't know why people put that sort of stuff back in the box. Mangled and damaged cap screw with. The head filled in. You find all sorts of weird shit in these old drawers. Studs. Uh, more nuts. Nuts to that. Okay, you can move over here. Uh, what have we got? got? Pins which are all glued into the bottom of this old tobacco tin or whatever it is. Three pins with cross drilled hole, and the dead end of another cap screw. 
more half inch bolts which are always handy I'm very very short on half inch stuff that I have no idea it says Repco on it I'm guessing it's part of a puller or some kind of fixture tool where the rest of it is God knows don't know what that was. Yeah, this is just nuts and bolts and washers and things. Um, yeah, more nuts and bolts. And the last drawer. Oops, there's a lot of little cardboard boxes in there getting chewed up. 